Good evening and welcome to the Whiskey Lover Society with me Gert Retief. Tonight we are looking at no age statement whiskies. Now um, I did a poll um, maybe a month ago and um, I asked what the people are willing to pay for no age statement whiskies. Bear in mind some of the no age statement whiskies it's all about that number on a bottle. And I did find one of my selections as a fantastic no age statement whiskey can be 10 years, can be a little bit more than 10 years old. But if it's not on the bottle and you have to go do some research to find exactly how old that whiskey is, then for me it's a no age statement whiskey. So with that in mind, so with that in mind, I'm not going to make it a long video. It's not going to be a review video. It's going to be a short list of 10 whiskies that I would recommend you try um, with uh, no age statement on it. And um, of course, if you want to see the full review, I will maybe put the links on all of them in the description so that you can go check the full review yourself. So in no particular order, I'm going to start off with a whiskey from Taiwan and it is the Kavalan Solist Sherry Cast Finish. Oh my word, I did that review about a month ago. Super excited about it. That is definitely up my alley, that lovely sherry sweetness in it. There's a whiskey that you can buy, not cheap, but you can buy it and you know you're going to buy good high quality whiskey, something that will keep you happy, something that will keep your friends happy and even your wife, which is not a whiskey drinker, she would enjoy that lovely sweetness of that. So that to me is the number one on my list. Number two on the list definitely has to be a compass box. Now I've been ranting and raving about compass box for the last couple of months, tried quite a lot of them and I can recommend almost all of them. And in this case, we're talking about the Orchard House. If you are into a summery whiskey, a sweet whiskey, a little bit of a friendly whiskey, a little bit of an appley notes in it, uh, Orchard definitely living up to its name. So Wild Orchard, definitely something that I would recommend. And the price is actually um, not too bad. Number three, I am traveling to India and I'm looking at the Indri Trini, uh, the free, free wood or free cars that they are using. Now, this is something that I tried a while ago and I loved it. And I see a lot of YouTubers are also now gravitating towards it, even the big names um, like uh, Ralphie. I see he also had quite a liking too. So definitely something that you can try. And um, with all that YouTubers saying that it's a nice whiskey, you cannot go wrong. Number four, Aaron Podcast. Now, Aaron, I have um, I have huge respect for Aaron whiskey. I love the fact that they do things the old-fashioned way, non-chill filtered, natural color, um, ticking all the right boxes for me. So for me, I would always recommend a starter whiskey somebody that would like to try something and maybe try something a little bit different try an errand from the 10 years you name it but i have well i have two on the list so the first one that i have is the podcast finish perfect try it leave a comment what do you think about number five on my list traveling a little bit to south africa well you knew it was coming and I'm talking about Baines, a single grain whiskey. I have more into that little bit of a bourbon territory, bourbon notes, butterscotch notes, sweetness. Oh, that's lovely. Popcorn, uh, buttered popcorn notes that comes out of it. Something that I really like. Lovely, fantastic prices. Well, I'm not sure how long that is going to last until the, the people from the Baines distillery catch up and they can see that there's a lot of money to be made. So I expect the prices to go a little bit up. I know we also talk about this one in the online Scotch Whiskey Awards. Well, 
if nobody knows about them, they're not going to vote for them. But trust me, a lovely whiskey, lovely sweet whiskey, and something that a lot of people will enjoy. So see if you can find it, buy it, you're not going to be disappointed. Number six, now this is going to be a shock for many people, especially all my subscribers, 1,260 subscribers. Thank you very much, by the way. And please remember to like and subscribe. Uh, this channel needs your support to grow. And uh, that little bit of ad revenue that I get, 100% will go towards children in South Africa. I also have a Patreon account. So feel free, um, donate three euros a month or five euros up to you. All that money will go toward buying food for now 75 children, 85 families. Um, it's a pet project um, from my wife and myself. So we try to support them on a monthly basis. So if you feel generous, please let me know or just um, do a little bit of a donation. On with my surprise whiskey. And that's something that I never thought I will be a big fan. And I'm talking about Octomore. Now I've had a couple of samples of them. Price is a little bit high, so my wallet is telling me, stop it, uh, we cannot afford this. But um, the 13.1, I the 8.1, and then eventually I bought another 8.1, and it is absolutely fantastic. The 8.1 Masterclass, oh my word, that is the type of peated whiskey, even at that high PPMs. That is a whiskey that I enjoy. I like the boldness of it. I love that lovely sweet flavors of it. I like that. Well, I like it so much. I keep on buying samples at 13 euro 50. Phew, it's a lot of money, but it is nice. And sometimes I treat myself a little bit of a sample of the 8.1 sit back enjoy it it's little small sips oh it is absolutely fantastic number seven on my list and there's something well i'm sure a lot of people will agree with me on this one glenn farkless 105 sherry monster oh my word that is nice if you are into sherry whiskies sweet whiskies friendly that christmas cake in a glass that dates the figs the raisins a little nutty note Oh, that sherry, 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 definitely one for you. Try the Glen Farkless 105. You will not be disappointed. And of course, well, I think I have now about five of them. So I, I may need to slow down a little bit because um, it's getting a little bit expensive by just buying one. You know, I can only review it once. Well, maybe twice in a two, three year period. But of course, for me, it's all about tasting everything. Well, I hope to taste everything and um, do a quick review on them. But for me, the 105 is definitely the one if you love the Sherry Monsters. Number eight. Now, in the beginning, I did mention some of them might be a little bit older. Um, and might be touching the 10 years or maybe just say hint over the 10 years old well if it's no age statement on the bottle for me this one i picked as the glen scotia victoriana now from a little bit of research they do say 10 years old a minimum of 10 years old well they have some whiskies apparently in it that could be way more than the 10 years old but yeah no age statement still absolutely fantastic it's also mentioned on the online scotch whiskey awards and I think last year they were the winner of the Online Scotch Whiskey Award, redeeming themselves from the previous year where they were nominated. So I was super excited. And of course, the prices are going up a little bit, um, a little bit of fame from the Online Scotch Whiskey Awards. But uh, something that I would recommend for anybody to try, as you can see, well, maybe you can see I do have a full bottle still. So I did make provision um, if I do find something that I like, maybe two or three bottles, just as a backup to ensure that things are working out. Number nine, again, an Aaron, the Sherry Cars finish this time. Well, I'm not going to say a lot about it. It again, it's that lovely, well, it's Sherry. 
it's sweet, it is inviting, it's friendly, it's drinkable, it's no age statement, it's natural color, all of those things sticking the boxes again, and normally at a quite reasonable price. And I think that is something that Aaron has been known for. We're not trying to take, well, to, to take the hell out of our wallets, not to try to kill the industry. There's a lot of people that are, are selling no age statements for stupid prices well, in my list as well. But again, I, I don't say anything about it. The prices, it's the prices and um, we buy what we can afford. And of course, we buy what we like. And these ones, sometimes a little bit expensive, but we, I buy what I like. Um, I, I buy with my taste buds and, and my nose and not just on the price of something. The last one um, is a Scallywag chocolate edition. If you like chocolate, if you like a whiskey with a sweet chocolate note, almost a dark chocolate note, then this one is for you. Now, I've done so many reviews where I can say this got a hint of chocolate, a hint of this, a hint of that. There is no hint of chocolate in this one. It is a chocolate note. Well, anyway, for me, it is a dark, rich Belgium dark chocolate note. My Belgium friends will be quite happy that I think this is Belgium chocolate. But it is nice, sweet, and that chocolate you note know, just keeps on getting more and more. It's on the nose, it's on the taste, it is drinkable, it's friendly, it's a fantastic supper, a nice winter supper. Not something that I would enjoy in the summertime. I think it's a heavy whiskey. It's just um, something that just warms up the nostrils, warms up the throat, warms up the body, warms the blood. So definitely something that I would recommend. So thank you very much for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe. Give a comment. What do you think? What is the best no age statement whiskey that you would like to have on your bar? Um, and maybe, well, maybe it changes every six months. For me, it changes sometimes every week, every two weeks. I do find something new. So many whiskeys to try. But anyway, ring the bell, subscribe, comment, and I see you next time. Cheers. Thank you.